So guys, I'm making a two-tier tray for you today. Let's get started. Now, I actually decided to go with this Krylon Color Master Paint and Primer in one. I went with a semi-gloss finish uh, in this white color. I really wanted everything to be um, the same color and a really pretty white. Now, I'm doing multiple uh, layers of the paint and just trying to do my best to get everything uh, coated as evenly as possible. I find spray painting goes pretty fast, dries pretty fast, but it can take um, quite a bit of coats of paint to get kind of the look that you're going um, for, especially when you're doing unfinished wood like the spruce that pretty much soaks in the paint very easily. So I'm doing multiple coats of paint and I'm doing one lay like one coat and then I'm letting it dry about 10 minutes. Then I'm doing another coat and as I said, I pretty much use the full can to kind of get it fully covered how I want it to be. It does take a little bit of time and um, I'm just letting this dry and then I will continue on the process of a thin layer of, of um, paint drying 10 minutes and whatnot until I get kind of what uh, the look I want uh, in the finished product and then I'm gonna let it dry for 24 hours so it's completely dry. Now here it is I've, it's nice and dry that way it's not gonna do anything uh, to my countertops and I love the look of it the semi gloss I think it looks really really pretty and what I'm gonna do is actually I'm going to take a pencil and I've already done this but I'm just going to outline where about I want to glue on my pedestals on the bottom of each of the trays I'm going to do that first and then I'm gonna draw a line in the middle of my tray I'm not measuring it I'm just eyeballing it because I'm not one of these that needs it to be perfect as long as it looks good that's really honestly all that matters to me and I'm gonna do the same thing for the smaller tray I'm just going to outline on the top of the pedestal where it's going to actually be glued to the bottom of the small tray and uh, then I will do it for um, for each one of those trays. So once I have that outlined, I'm now going to actually glue my pedestals to my trays. I'm gonna do these individually and then just glue the two pieces together. I just kinda of was thinking about what would be the easiest way to put this together and I found that gluing the pedestals on the trays would be the easiest way to do that. So I'm just gonna add a nice ribbon of glue all along the top of the pedestal and then I'm just going to do as neatly as possible line it up to that circle that I have outlined uh, you mean you do your best I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure on there the nice thing about hot glue is it sticks really fast and that's the only bad downfall is that you don't have much give with the hot glue I love that it sticks fast, but you have very little time to work with it. Uh, and then I'm just doing the same thing. I'm gonna just glue the uh, second pedestal to the bottom of my larger tray. My larger tray, I'm going to go uh, as the bottom, and then I'm gonna stack the smaller one on top. And again, just a few uh, seconds of pressure on uh, to just allow that glue to dry uh, quickly. Now that both of my trays have the pedestals glued, I'm going to now attempt to glue my small tray on top of the large one. And I did draw that outline of the circle and I decided to just glue it inside of that. I just thought it would be the easiest thing to do. And I'm going to do my best to make this as lined up as possible. And you know, it didn't end up being perfect, but I'm pretty happy with how it actually came together. And it just took a few moments for it to um, set. And this is the finished tray. I'm really pleased with it. I think it turned out really, really nice. I love it. I just think it is beautiful. I'm, I'm quite impressed with it. It's not too big. It's quite a small tray, um, but I'm really excited to get it decorated. And I just decided I was going to uh, add some battery operated lights. I think it's gonna look really pretty at night when the lights are off and everything is uh, 
you know, it, the light shine through the decorations. I just think that's going to be really, really pretty. And these ornaments I did purchase from Michaels, 50% uh, off. And I love the white and the silver contrast of the various bulbs that are in the um, actually package that it came with. And I'm just kind of going around and deciding how many bulbs I want to put in there. And this is the final result, guys. I just love how it turned out. I added some greenery, some pine cones I think I could add maybe just a little bit more greenery in the front there between the sparkly uh, bulb and the white one on the bottom there so I might still add that little bit in there but overall I think this tray turned out gorgeous I can't wait to keep looking at this during the holiday season and at night it's just really gonna look beautiful and my favorite bulbs were these white and silver ones I just think they're gorgeous and combines the the theme that I'm doing this year with kind of of the woodlands theme with pine cones and bulbs just a tiny bit of glitter but I overall really really love how the tray came together with all the little details you know I made this tray for around $25 using a coupon uh, from Michaels so I I did it was a little bit more expensive than I was hoping for but I really like the finished product. I was looking for something specific. I wanted it to be a certain way and I just couldn't do it from the dollar store. So overall, every bit of these details of the bulbs to the greenery to the pine needles, I just think looks really, really pretty. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that it gave you some inspiration for your own Christmas uh, decor. I've never attempted anything like this before, but I think it really adds a nice um, element to my kitchen island, which is what I was going for instead of just having like a bowl with some uh, filler in there. And that's typically what I do. But I really wanted to have just something different on my island for Christmas this year and just really continuing on my theme throughout into the kitchen without doing a lot but I really think this came together really well so if you have any questions or comments guys please leave them for me below I really do hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next video guys bye now